We're here at the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions Threatened Flora Seed Centre, which is based in Kensington, which is just near Perth. So my name is Leonie Monks. I'm a research scientist with the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions here in Western Australia. And I work on plant translocations, so the reintroduction of plant species back into the wild. So the seeds that are stored here in the seed store are actually collected from across Western Australia. So predominantly from the southwest, so from an area from south of Geraldton through to Esperance and into that southwest corner of Western Australia, but they also collect seed from further north as well. So a lot of um, the species that we have in Western Australia unfortunately are threatened and um, we need to be able to look after them in the wild. So one of the ways we do that is to collect and store the seed and preserve it here in the seed store. And then we can do work such as recovery in the wild. So these seedlings we're using as part of the Threatened Species Hub project. We will do genetic work on this. We're looking at any differences between our reintroduced population and the natural populations to see whether there's any differences or whether we've actually successfully captured the genetic diversity of the source populations in our new population. Also we're going to look at the mating system so we want to understand the patterns of pollination in the population and whether the reintroduced populations are being pollinated in the same way as the natural populations. We have the seed that's collected, it's brought back into the seed store here and where it's processed and cleaned and assessed and they test the viability and then it may be stored so it's dried down and frozen here at the seed store. And then when we're ready to use it, that's brought it back out of the, the freezer and then germinated. So it may need some technique to get it to germinate. So there's all sorts of techniques that we use to get our seeds to germinate. Dealing with rare species, we often don't have a lot of seed to, to, to play with to work out the optimum treatments. So often we just have to go with, with the best bet, what we think is going to work. There's a range of treatments uh, that we use from nicking the seed coats of seeds like acacias or wattles to excising, so cutting the seed out of a woody fruit like I'm doing at the moment. Um, once those seeds come out of the fruit, they're, they're fairly easy to germinate. Once they germinate, we transfer them to soil and then they go to a nursery. So that the Kings Park Nursery grow all our seedlings for us. And then once the seedlings are old enough, then we'll plant them back out into the wild. This project was initiated by the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions and it is now a collaboration with Melbourne University, University of Queensland, University of Adelaide, Murdoch University and Australian Network for Plant Conservation and is a part of the Threatened Species Recovery Hub. I really enjoy working with um, this project because I get to plant rare species back out in the wild so I feel like I actually make a difference in terms of conserving species and making sure that they persist in the long term.